Greetings fellow Shadow Raiders, Kropcio here and this is Raid Shadow Legends, free to play episode 88. Yeah, Doom Tower Heart once again uh, completed, we got final reward, another sacred shard from Eternal Dragon, final stage. Yeah, th that's my team, uh, generally two uh, HP burners together with Ratalos and two supports to just keep, keep it going. Uh, my record here, uh, 46 uh, turns, yeah, pretty quick, nice and fast run. Yeah, it's okay. We got uh, Sacred, what else today we'll be doing? Today we'll be pulling some shards, uh, because uh, we got 13, lucky number, and we got some interesting champions uh, on the progressive chance. Uh, so we get here Lord Kaimar, uh, we got uh, Aishma, so this is epic that I need uh, for Lady Mikage fusion. Um, yeah, let's see how many do I'm missing. Yeah, so Aishma, we still need uh, Eufric and uh, Fergon Isbel. So that's three epics that I'm missing. So today we'll try to get uh, some to make some uh, progress towards uh, this uh, achievement in the game. Yeah, so we got 13. Together with this uh, 13 secret shots, we got summon rush. Still one hour uh, to go. I didn't do much here on this side, so I still got plenty points to go. So there is no special um, fusion. It's going so just standard rewards. Uh, but the other stage of the game where I'm currently am, uh, so I'm not planning to go for the next fusion because uh, yeah, this is another damage dealer which I do not need, I think. Um, but I really would like to have uh, to find an owner for this big soul, right? So Lord Kaimar here, so great reset champion. Uh, six star uh, sitting is here for like six months, so yes, I think this is good opportunity to try to get him. Okay, um, yeah, probably that's what we will do. Uh, here is also uh, Husk, so probably we'll switch to Husk if we will get Aishma. Yeah, that's the plan. So let's go, let's open. Not sure how many. Dirk, uh, the Hunger Reviver, I've got this guy, so nothing new. I also need uh, some epics for um, Curse City, uh, some stages on the heart level, they're quite requiring very specific champions. The rest, what this champion does, I think first time I got this one. Um, yeah, some some hitters here, maybe Fire Knight, not sure what this chap is doing, but this is a Dark Elf one. Oh, another uh, pretty old champion, so nothing new. AoE here, increased defense. Okay, let's continue. Another epic. Telesia, so this is not Aishma, um, if I'm correct, yeah, we are looking for a different <laughs> champion here, so still nine more to go. Chancellor Yasmin, no, thank you, even if she is uh, for late Mikage, I don't remember, yeah, another Seeker. So I think this is my third or fourth copy. Okay, we got Legendary and we got Lunataril. Okay, I heard some good words about this champion. So um, is he an ally attack champion? Then team up with all allies, a single enemy, that's great. It's really great. So Jenea, I was, uh, I do not have um, ally good ally attacker, 
but looks like now we got an ally attacker uh, and this will be very good for fire knight for the marius missions yeah i will tell you in a second what's going on with the marius missions yeah but that, that's good pull i'm happy with that so lonataril great we got legendary not on the 2x and anything like that so it's great another turagi i think this is my fourth or fifth copy <laughs> i can empower him we got sandlash survivor okay i also got this champion lonatari is great sashi where is our 25x for ashma come on Nazana, also duplicate. Uh, wood painted, also got this champion. It's hard to get first those specific epics. Okay, marksman. Ah, that's not good. Okay, so let's check. Um, yeah, no red dots here. <laughs> That's painful. Okay, so where we are in terms of Marius missions. So Marius missions, uh, I've completed some mythical gear farming. There was a mission to get 10 mythical uh, artifacts. But now I'm on the uh, mission to get four mythical chest plates. This is so painful. So far I've got one. Uh, yeah, probably this will take me a week, two or even more. <laughs> this is RNG, RNG base. Oh, that's that's painful one. So this will take some time. So I'm not expecting to get uh, great um, um, progress here. So that's a lot of energy to spend. Okay, so we got plenty of rewards. Uh, we got new avatar frame, which is very fun <laughs> to get. Okay, we'll need to get some more, a little bit more uh, to get this uh, legendary book. Okay, how much more do we need? Uh, 300 and yeah, over 300 points. Okay, probably we'll need to pull some other shards. Uh, let's check the pointing points so I could quickly decide which, which shard do we want to pull. 20 uh, blue, yeah, 20 blue will do the work and another chance to get Aishma. Yeah, so that will be the plan. Okay, so let's pull another 20 um, ancient shards. Yeah, we got uh, Kaimar and Aishma here. Come on, let's go. Give us Aishma. More egg bronze lock. Okay, I've got two copies of this champion already. Let's see. Anything? An epic? No, even single epic. Okay, will this be enough? Yeah, so from time to time you need to take an attempt to get those things okay we are we are done got legendary books mythical books yeah probably <laughs> not sure when i will use them this is still pretty uh pretty a lot of points to get those rewards yeah but do not have resources on the free to play it's hard to get them okay so that's that's what we, where we are um so ver uh, very uh, soon I will be starting new challenge so this will be no speed challenge um, yeah will not be uh, gearing our champions with the speed uh, artifacts so let me uh, for example show you what they mean for example I've got this crazy apothecary uh, his speed is uh, 336 right 
So for the normal content, so this champion is moving three times when the enemy is one time, <laughs> which is crazy. Uh, so another example we got what we got here. Uh, my favorite one recently is uh, Glycat. Uh, he's uh, in the protection, mixed protection and stone skin. Got some uh, upgrades for the speed, and another champion with 330 plus speed. Uh, yeah, very, very juicy one. Uh, I've also recently built uh, Seeker. Seeker is another champion over 300 speed. Yeah, so then slowly that will be my some kind of standard on the account trying to build uh, very specific champions uh, with uh, this kind of speed yeah but this is taking a lot of time uh, to get this gear with this speed um, yeah so that's why I'm tr will try to uh, try something new and uh, try to find how far I can go without any speed on the champions um, to just move one to one so this will be like uh, some kind of chess play right so uh, our one move on our side one move on their side and see how far we can go with this approach it shouldn't be so hard but we will probably build our champions a little bit different um, yeah you know got all the boots with the speed uh, trying to find everywhere speed 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 triple speed yeah so and because of the speed i'm missing a lot of other uh stats that could uh yeah probably make this game a bit more interesting to build champions a different way maybe use different sets because it will be not allowed to use for example impulse which is giving additional speed right so what will be the uh, main rule so if you see for example on this seeker 103 speed uh, then it will need to stay here as it is so i cannot get this any green uh, bonuses uh, yeah so no perception no speed no impulse no, no i don't let me check uh, glycat got, got this so bonuses from uh, pers protection right so this plus 12 so i cannot use full protection only two piece of sets stone, stone skin will be great right <laughs> yeah so some additional limitations uh, for example pinpoint right uh, recent, recent um, yeah gear set yeah so just getting to you got additional 10 10 percent of speed so yeah none of this will be allowed we will be playing with original speed and generally that that will be the some kind of trying to find the fun once again once again discover the game and maybe try to approach it differently than just build crazy speed on the champions which is currently probably the meta and the way to go yeah what we'll see Okay, so that will be all for this um, episode and probably um, not much upgrades will be on this side. I will be farming <laughs> Marius missions for a long time, trying to get those mythical artifacts. Who knows how long this will take. Yeah, then we will get uh, another mythical accessories, etc. And the rest should be easy. Uh, but probably on the last uh, stage of those missions there will be even more farming of mythical artifacts more farming of um, iron twins yeah this will take some time so probably not much content uh, here on the, from this account yeah so that's the plan okay so please tell me what do you think in the comments down below and see you on the next one cheers